Well, boys, I got the radio. I managed to get her powered up. BFO is working, sound is working. Touchy knob. <laughs> But uh, anyways, yeah, so power supply is working, the receiver is working, modes, VFO, speaker, sound, audio, everything's working. The problem, which discovered me and Bill, and Bill helped me a little bit there, and uh, we figured out that the short, the problem was coming from... The PA actually is where the short is coming from. The PA board is completely shorted out. Uh, I put the probe across. There's about every terminal is here, resistor, capacitor, diode. Didn't matter where I put my probe, it was a dead short. So the PA board here has major issues going on. So to get ready to power up, disconnected the uh, red wire here. This one here, which is the main power that leads down to the PA board. So, disconnected that. And, we got life. So, I noticed one frequency was on when she powered up and uh, whatnot, but, and she was locked onto that channel frequency. But, uh, so I know the last frequency it was operated on. But, uh, yeah. So the PA is completely toast, shorted out. Chance are it's probably drivers or finals or something gone again. So, yep. Yeah. So she's going to need a PA replacement, or she's going to need parts replacement. In either case, the PA got a bad problem. Power supply, fired up, no problem. Uh, what it is with some switching power supplies, they'll actually shut down if they've got a short across the outputs, or they sense too much load. These switching power supplies sometimes depends what they are now not all of them but some of them have a protection circuit in them that shut down the power supply so you don't damage it um, and it slides away down here so that's where we thought it was problem was first was power supply but it wasn't the power supply because I disconnected the plug here and we just plug disconnected and I put the we probe across this red and black wire here that's the main power to the PA. Get a dead short here. So of course when you go to try to power up the radio, you get a little squeak out of the power supply. The power supply no by and not turned on. So it shuts itself off. Radio don't turn on. So there we go. So now I've got to contact the owner. And which I already have and is waiting for him to call back. Getting the bad news on the PA side. And uh, we'll go from there. But so far we've got some life back in the ICOM 765. To be continued.